Hello everyone, this is what we're gonna do today. Welcome to Gazelle Creative Studio, my name is Uriel. Please subscribe to this channel because I'm gonna be bringing a lot of creativity and inspiration. Merry Christmas to everyone. All right, let's get started. So here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna be using uh, two of those containers. I like these containers because uh, around the edge it has those wavy things and I don't know but they remind me of how the, the rope is going to hold the, the entire drum from uh, top to bottom and you know it goes all around in zigzag. So also we're going to be using uh, this table runner, I think it's very cool, very pretty. Um, I have seen those before, I never knew what to do with them. Um, and also we're going to be using this gold core. I got this uh, uh, Hobby Lobby. And then also we're going to be using some dowels and beads to make our uh, drumsticks. Also we're going to be using this uh, gold paint. It's really, really pretty, I think. Um, it's not like a yellow gold, it's more like a pale gold. Also, we're gonna be using this uh, black paint. Uh, this is what I have on hand, but you can use anything. Um, so we're gonna go ahead and remove the sticker here. Um, those uh, come off easily compared to other ones. So I'm gonna be gluing the, the fabric around the, the container. So I'm trying to uh, no burn myself and uh, just uh, glued the, uh, the fabric all around. Um, so this is gonna be the largest uh, drum. This is gonna be at the bottom. We're gonna be making three drums. And take your time um, doing this. I, I don't like to, to get rushed on my projects. I am speeding up uh, the video uh, for you guys uh, because um, I didn't want to make a very long video. I try to keep it under 30 minutes uh, because we're making three different drums and I use two different approaches to, to make them and I recommend uh, using the approach for the two smaller drums. I didn't like uh, the process of doing Okay, I will tell you in a minute what I mean. So I'm gonna finish uh, gluing the top with my glue gun and I iron the the, the end of the fabric uh, to make it to make a crease. Uh, and then I'm gonna be uh, cutting off the excess of the fabric. So I'm gonna be going uh, all the way around. And now I'm gonna be gluing what's gonna be the bottom of the drum. So I am taking my time to do this because I want to avoid uh, any wrinkles uh, on the outside. So I'm trying to stretch the fabric as much as possible. So at the end, uh, the, this large drum may look really good. Um, it, it had some uh, a little bit of wrinkle, but this is not gonna affect the end result you will see so I'm just trying to put the lids to see how it's gonna look like so so far I'm happy with it and now I'm gonna be using my brush and I'm gonna be painting the lids with black so this is what's gonna be holding the, the rope that goes uh, from the top to the bottom and going up and down all the way around so again uh, I'm using uh, this paint, uh, but I didn't like it. Uh, I ended up using uh, the uh, Waverly paint uh, in black. I think the name of the black color is called Ink. So I I don't have the um, the paint here uh, right now, but I'm gonna show you later on. As you can see uh, on around the border you see uh, some holes that I made. I use uh, a hot tool to make those but again I don't recommend uh, using this approach for the for the drums at all. Um, it took a lot of time uh, but I'm just gonna show you what I did. Um, 
but I really like uh, how the, the medium and smaller drum um, turn out. So what you want to do is just paint the, the outside of the lid all around like I'm doing here in black and we're gonna do that for the top of the bottom and now uh, I'm gonna move on to uh, to the small drum so I'm gonna be using the lid of one of those round boxes um, they're about like three to four inches uh, this is from Dollar Tree and uh, this is gonna be the basis of my small drum so I'm gonna be painting the lids and I'm gonna do the same thing I'm gonna be painting just the outside and like I mentioned I changed paint so this one is Waverly Black. Now, um, so I bought those uh, fasteners from um, Walmart and uh, they were a little bit long so I ended up cutting those off and um, I made those holes uh, with a hot tool to put the fasteners through and uh, I let those fasteners a little loose because I want to um, to put a thick uh, golden rope around. So I'm gonna cut those in half because they are a little long. Next, I'm gonna be inserting uh, all those fasteners that I cut in half. And again, uh, you want those a little loose because uh, you want to, to add the rope or some kind of ribbon um, around the fastener. Okay, now I have my lids ready with all the fasteners around. And the next step, it will be to glue the top and the bottom with a high glue gun. So what I'm gonna do next is to put a lot of hot glue all the way around. This is gonna be the bottom part of the drum and this is gonna seal everything really well. All right, I'm gonna be moving on to uh, building the uh, drumsticks. I got those drumsticks from uh, from Walmart. Uh, I started uh, cutting them off uh, at 10 inches, but I ended up cutting them a little more. Um, also, um, I'm gonna be using those beads that you can see. I sand them a little bit uh, to make them flat and I use uh, this uh, that I got from Dollar Tree to cut my dowels. I use some tacky glue to glue the wood. I think this is really good glue, glue for wood. Um, again, sand one side of the bead to make it flat and make it more stable. So I'm going to be painting the handle of the drumsticks black. I'm going to be using this ink uh, Beverly paint. And uh, also I'm going to be making smaller drumsticks. I got those uh, from Dollar Tree and those from Walmart, the medium drumsticks that I made. So I ended up making the larger drumsticks uh, 8 inches and then uh, the medium ones uh, six inches and the smaller ones five inches and you will see what i'm talking about also i'm going to be adding some smaller beads that i have on hand and uh, I don't have different sizes, so I'm going to be using the same size for the medium drumsticks and the smaller one. They're going to look just fine. So this is what I have on hand, so go ahead and use what you have on hand. Why not? So here are the dowels all cut, and now I'm going to be gluing those uh, wooden beads. Again, I did the same thing. I sand one side of the bead to make it flat a little bit. Um, because you want this to be uh, stable as you glue them. I'm going to use the same glue. Um, here's the, uh, the smallest one 
those those uh, dowels are from Dollar Tree and I'm just gluing the, the bead. The other thing that I did, um, I use, um, I, I fill in the hole with some spackle and I sand it a little bit. So here are my six um, drumsticks. They're all um, dry and ready to go. So I'm gonna be painting uh, the tip of each uh, drumstick in color gold um, and I use two coats to to cover the tip uh, I'm gonna be um, I'm putting tape there and it's gonna be an inch from the base of the towel but you can do whatever you want uh, this is just my quick measurement that I'm doing and um, yeah This is a uh, folk art paint from Walmart, and I used two coats. Um, it looks a little translucent, but when it dries, it dries really well. Okay, so I'm gonna be painting the bottom as well in black, just like the, the larger drumsticks. Okay, and then I'm gonna move on to building the smaller drum. I'm gonna be gluing the fabric all the way around, and I ironed uh, one side to make it more finished. And I'm gonna be doing the same thing. I'm gonna cut the excess all the way around to make it nice and clean because this is going to help me to put the lid on. Uh, with the fabric, it makes it a little wider and a little more challenging to put on. Now I'm gonna be moving on building the medium drum. The medium drum is gonna be green. The small and the large one are gonna be red, but the medium one is gonna be green. So I really like working with this fabric. I didn't know that you can iron this fabric. So it works uh, really, really well and it looks uh, very Christmassy. Now I'm gonna be cutting the excess all the way around with my precision scissors. I had those scissors for ages and they have broken like twice just the the plastic part but they still work like really really good so i really love those scissors okay next i'm gonna be gluing the uh, gold cord that i got from um, dollar general um, i couldn't find a smaller gold cord like this one at joann's or michael's or hobby lobby so i was able to find this one at uh, dollar general so I'm going to be gluing this uh, gold core um, all the way around. As you can see, I'm going zigzag and that's what you want to do. You don't want to um, do those markings um, face to face or even, right? They need to be uh, a little shift, as you can see. So I'm gonna be gluing this uh, gold core and I'm gonna be doing this for the small and the medium um, drum. And they're really looking really, really good, you guys. Um, so thank you for watching my video. And, and now I have so much respect for a lot of people that make videos uh, because this video was, it's my first video and it was a lot of work um, a lot of work to uh, to do the craft but also to record and to do the voiceover it was very very challenging for me but i hope uh, you're enjoying this video please subscribe because i'm gonna be um, creating the awesome projects for you guys um, next i'm gonna be um I'm gonna make a lantern, maybe two of them actually. They're, they're gonna look amazing, so subscribe so you can stay in touch with me. And uh, I'm gonna be uh, listing uh, all the materials 
in the description box um, so you can have those handy all right and this is how my drums look like at this point the smaller and the medium one they look really really good so I'm gonna be cutting those fasteners all the way to the top so just leaving the, the head um, by itself And I'm gonna be gluing all those heads uh, in each corner all the way around for the small and the medium drum. And this is how it looks like so far. It looks, it's looking great. I really like the, the little drum. This was my favorite, not be just because of the size, but because the paint uh, stay really, really well. Uh, and I'm gonna do the same thing with a medium drum. I'm gonna be gluing all those um, fastener heads uh, in each corner. Okay, next I'm gonna be using this vinyl that I use from Dollar Tree. I really enjoy working with this um, vinyl. I thought it was going to be a little more challenging, but it was not. Um, and it stayed really, really well on the drums, on all of them. So basically what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna be cutting six circles. Two for the large one, two for the medium, and two for the smaller one. And, and this is gonna go on the center of the top and the bottom. And this is gonna be uh, the area where you, you would play with those drumsticks. Um, I really like uh, th uh, this gold, it's not like a very yellow gold, it's uh, like a pale gold. So I really like the color. Um, so I'm gonna be cutting uh, each piece uh, precisely. Now I'm ready to peel off uh, the vinyl and center it on the drum. And basically there is about half an inch from the edge of the drum to where the vinyl starts. So about half an inch for all three drums. And you know, just find something circular and, and do this. And uh, this is uh, pretty much done. Uh, it looks really, really good. I really like uh, the vinyl again, and look at this. It looks amazing, it's uh, ready to play on. So I'm getting my drumsticks that I painted and they are all finished as well. So I'm gonna be doing the same thing for the large drum. And basically what I do with the vinyl, I bend it a little bit and then I glue the center first, 
then I move to one side to make it even and then I move to the rest of the vinyl and as you can see it stayed really really well and here's the smallest one um, again I peel it off I try to glue the center first and then one side and then I move it to the other side Now I'm gonna be uh, adding the gold cord to the large drum and again I don't recommend this approach um, I think it's easier to do what I did for the medium and small drum just glue the, um, the, the gold cord straight with your hot glue gun and, and also you can add buttons or even um, rhinestones or whatever you have on hand and just glue everything because what I did I had to use a hot tool to make holes and then and then put the fasteners through and um, and it was just more work are you ready for the grand reveal I am excited let's see look at those drums they look awesome I really enjoy making them, each one of them. Um, I have to say I used uh, Mod Podge uh, on the black part for all of them. It just helped to secure and seal the, the paint. Um, I also did uh, Mod Podge for the drumsticks. The colors are just beautiful. Everything, the, the black and the gold combine. And also, I didn't want to use a third color for the drum, not because I didn't have more fabric. I just didn't want to make it too um, too colorful. I didn't want it to be a little more cohesive. Um, yeah, so if you have any questions, uh, please let me know. Uh, please subscribe to my channel. This is my first video ever, so I hope uh, you enjoy uh, this project because I really enjoyed this. It was uh, a little bit of work because it was three three uh, drums, but at the end it was worth it. Uh, this photo, it reminds me of a cake, I don't know, and this is the final picture. Thank you everybody.